Hello and welcome to another episode of Ankle Saw and our preview of round three. And yet again, another two teams with a boy, GWS and Gold Coast. So for our regular viewers, you've noticed our preview show is out on a Wednesday. We had a chat about it and thought it'd be better for you guys to digest the previous week's footy before we bombarded you with the upcoming round. We'd love to hear your feedback, so let us know in the comments if you prefer it this way. Anyway, housekeeping is out the way. Let's get into it, shall we? Absolutely. Thursday yeah. night footy. Yep. What's that? This is this is world class barber's t shirt. I got it with my haircut from Mike and Simi down in East Kill. Will they, give, will, they, will they give me a? So they're waiting for you guys for a head shave and a pamper and I'm a hot in. towel. Pamper. They're waiting. They're pamper. waiting. Mike's waiting down there. I'm in. Right. And a t shirt. Ah, oh, come on. Well, we'll talk about T-shirts. But anyway, World Class Barbers East Keel. Do you know this is? There's a bit of writing on the back too. Do you know, do you know this is? Ed Ved, did he play footy? Did he play <laughs> AFL? The Wayne or was Car- it just a number plate? The Wayne Carey of That's music. a wrong number plate. There's only five letters. Yeah, yeah it's personalised. That's right. It's got to be six. He's, the, he's the Wayne Carey of music, <laughs> mate. The greatest. Yeah, of course. You're the king of T-shirts. There's oh, a yeah. crack at me. Plenty One of those. T-shirt. What about this, Blake? The wrestling's coming up. He's excited. He's oh, excited. WrestleMania is next week, he's boys. He's excited. I can't wait. You're I can't excited, wait. aren't you? Yep. I cannot wait. You'll be you glued really? to it, recording we're turning, it. We're turning this show into it. a t-shirt. That's test. what it's about. Hang that's on. what it's about. Recording it. You stream these days. You don't Sorry. have to record anything. I'm talking about oh, it's 1985. Well, yeah. That's what Hit record. Put the yeah. tape in. Oh, I haven't got a tape. Oh, yeah. It's like all that's chewed it up. <laughs> Let's get cracking Thursday, Gabba, 7.30. The battle of last year's grand finalists, Brisbane versus Collingwood. All right. Well... Oh, I, I think Collingwood wins this game because I, in reason being, he's lucky Neil Plain, does anyone know? I believe he is. He, he is, yeah. He is. Okay, yeah. well, that's going to make a difference. But that's not going to change my opinion. I think Collingwood's still going to win because Brisbane showed, gave, they gave Carlton's 46-point head start and lost their way. Mm-hmm. Kicked four goals in the first, what, 20 minutes against yeah. Freo and lost yeah, their yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Mm. There's an issue with them. Not fitness wise for a whole game, but I think there is an issue because they started training late. So did Collingwood. I think Collingwood, believe it or not, even though it's at the Gabba, are better equipped. And I think they know if they lose this week, both of them know, but they know if they lose this week, it's just about curtains. Zero and four, you're in trouble. Yeah, the loser is curtains. Oh, yeah, the loser's gone. If Brisbane lose, that's two losses at the Gabba. They don't lose at the Gabba. Well, 43 out of 47. Yeah, so their season's over. They're not going to win. Well, what do you think? Like, I think Collingwood. Because I don't trust Brisbane. I don't trust Collingwood I can't fully. We've both gone Collingwood at the Gabba. No one ever tips against them. No, I know, but that's that's what Brisbane's. You're in a quandary. In a quandary. A quandary. I'm Word not, of the day. I'm not. Collingwood's not playing well enough, and Brisbane played well enough to get to 46 points up. Was it 46? Something 46 like that. Against and they were well yeah. enough to kick the first four goals. So there's a little bit of form versus Collingwood, no form. That's true. Get Fair to point. Brisbane at the Gabba. Fair you point. said they've lost two. They ain't losing three. No, this this is two if they um, lose. It. You might have just swayed me. Tom Doty comes in. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he's not he did his knee last oh, night. I need his knee. <laughs> Research of 10 hours ago and he did his knee. Yeah, he literally okay, did his scrap knee. that. Um, I think they're all lost at sea defensively, Collingwood, with Darcy Moore without a... He's lost his mind. Yeah. And the reason they've lost right. their mind is basically the, the pressure coming down that wasn't happening last year. And so he can't get to a... He's also stuck within... Two minds of what defenders yeah. because he's getting isolated and separated. The other thing is Brisbane will kick a score. Collingwood won't. Nah, it's Brisbane by five goals. Oh, okay. Five goals. Okay. I'm telling you, and Lockie Neal, Lockie Neal, Lockie Schultz, they reckon may get dropped. He was wearing the white Guernsey. He hasn't done trunk. much, has he? No, yeah, no he's been he might get dropped. Tom Mitchell's the other one. Yeah. Who's also wearing the white yeah. emergency Guernsey? Is it going to be a disturbance at Brisbane though with uh, Chris Fagan today? Isn't he gone to that thing? Was that yeah. today? Clarko, whatever. Today, don't yes, they so. just sit down and pray? And I don't know what they do. Look, I don't want to get into it, but no, I'm uh, not sure what they do. But, but look, I look. That's a fair look. That's that is a fair summary, and you might be right. I don't know why. Just maybe I've got this thing in my head that Collingwood just. I can't see Collingwood yeah, losing it's just four a in a row. Thing. You, yeah. you can make yeah. an argument for both. Like I like your argument. <clears throat> I like the Brisbane one, and I I'm sold on it. I just think because Collingwood's played the extra game, they cannot afford to lose. Oh, no, Brisbane can't. Yeah. A- either way, whoever loses this, the season's over. Collingwood lose 0-4, right. it's over. Oh, I agree. If Brisbane lose this, that's there the second one. There has been teams that have gone 0-4 and played. 0-6 and six last year, Sydney, Sydney, and they made finals. But it's, 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 North it's very North was 0-3 in 99. And, Where they? And won, the, and won the flag. flag. North was 0-3 in 75 anyway. as well. Weren't they 0-6 and six or something in 77? 
Well, yeah, I five. don't know about. Yeah, they might it's have incredible. been. But it's happened before. But yeah, 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 yeah. more modern times. Modern day footy's more Sydney even. Sydney was zero and six. Yeah. It's, so, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yep. Friday, Marvel Stadium, four twenty p.m. and the annual Good Friday game, North Melbourne versus Carlton. Before we go to this, Good Friday's working now. They've got it right, haven't they? Yep. Yeah, I agree. Yep. Ah. Oh, are you yep. talking about the actual day for the kids or are you the, talking about the, the footy? The combination of teams. Yeah, combination. And yeah. now everyone is embracing it and they go to it. Okay, well, I'll have something to say when it gets before to me. We, before you get on to it, this is game six. So we've had five Good Friday games. And we've, we've won none, right? We won the first one. North Melbourne won the first one. They beat St Kilda by 52 points. Did they? They did. There you go. See? Yeah. And then the second one, Essendon, won by 58. Joe Dano went crazy. I don't remember Essendon playing against some Yeah, Friday. the second Good Friday. The third and the fourth were Bulldogs, Dogs, yeah. Destroyations. Oh, um, no, one was on 128 a... 128 points. No, it was still 10 goals. It was, was 58 it? points. And then last year was game five. So North are one and four from their five Good Fridays. Mm. He's going to go. But, but they've got it right. Okay. No worries. I'll have a... What I'm saying is if they got it right, that's my point. We can't continue to get whacked in these games. And continue to hold on to Good Friday, in my opinion. But you didn't get whacked last year. Last year was okay. Goals. Front half time. Yeah, yeah, last year was okay. I'm talking about you can't have, like, say, this week, lose by 10 goals. Next next year, get into it again, lose by eight. I'm just saying. I'm just making a point. You can't continue to do that. Saying that on the game, I know we spoke about it briefly in Club Corner. I think we can match them in the middle. I always, I think we can match it with pretty much most sides these days in the middle. But I'm just going to harp on it again, mate. That back line with those forwards that they've got. They're going to run right again. They run right last year. They don't play North Wind last year. Will they run right or they'll just be, they'll do enough to win the game of footy? Well, they'll kick eight or ten between them, you don't think? Ah, uh, they can. They're capable, yeah. They, so who kicks capable. the rest? It's hard to pick that, but they're capable. Yeah, but you've got blokes that you can finish up with 16 goals, and that's more than ample. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. You're right. I think Carlton will kick about 110, 120. North will kick 90 because North will be playing in high scoring games this year because North can score themselves. Because it's, it's North Ball, right? It's that's North, the way they play. So you think North will kick North 90? Ball. Yeah, North, oh. North will score every week. Yeah. It's a matter of what they can, they what can defend. defend. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You know that. Well, I said you said a, you basically 90 to 120. So five goal loss. That's about right. I said five, six goal loss. But you're right. The, the 120 will be a combination of Mackay, Kernow, and then singles. Yeah. And Zach Fisher playing against his old club. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got to say, there's a lot of potential wins for Carlton, and they all haven't played the game for a long time. Well, Walsh is out. They've already been. He's the only yeah. one. Weedering, Marchbank, Motlop, Martin. Motlop will, Martin's Martin out. will come back this week. No, Martin's out. He's out. He's done his hamstring again. <laughs> Where did he Thanks. do that? Where have we been the last <laughs> said, 10 hours? I said it last night on news that he's got a hamstring okay. something. This website's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Go no, upstairs. Up, yeah, I know. Oh, dear. Level, oh, upstairs dear. giving you the wrong information. Level three is well, giving me the wrong info. Well, my point was. I know like, Marchbank's coming back, but. Yeah, no, he'll play. He will? Yeah, he's got to play. So it's just Marchbank. Because Carlton Weedering, was silly like that. Weedering and Marchbank. Yeah, he has to come back to play and, on Larky. Yeah, he hasn't played for a long time. Larky will have a day out tomorrow, on oh, Friday. So you, what do you think? What do you think? I think Carlton win. I can't afford to lose, lose these games, but North are going to quit themselves very well. I. I, I you trust yeah. them to equip? I do too. No, no, North, North will give them a run. Like they just, like you said, they'll score. They will run. They think, will run. Yeah, and Carlton's midfield is very slow without Walsh. Hey, very, very that slow. I agree with. Gary Lyon and David King, who I rate in what they think about modern footy, have mm. said North's the best centre bounce team in the yeah, comp. Right up there, yeah. And that's yeah. with Sherry in the ruck. And the, but then, oh, what no, I'm imagine saying you had a good ruck. <laughs> okay, so imagine Tim English. No, but but then how does it go? You're saying that, and that's fine. In the first half last week, I buy it. But how do you just capitulate? Because there's first possession, and then there's clearances. Mm. Yeah, Luke okay. Jackson was huge in the second half. Yeah. So there's a sharing. So North factor, were getting right? like first possession, yeah. but not okay. winning the clearance in the second half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah fair enough. Are we covered on that game? Yeah, I reckon Carlton. Do we all think Carlton? Yeah, yeah, I think Carlton. Yeah, I do too. Friday night, up the stadium, 7.30, Fremantle Adelaide. I didn't even know that there was a good Friday night yeah, game. Yeah, there's always well, a game. There's, there's, always, there's always a Perth one, yeah. I can't give you the history of the Friday night. <laughs> no, no. Anzac Day no, games. No, they're all different. Anzac Day. Oh, sorry. Anzac That's Day. That's coming in a few Jeez, weeks. Good Friday. After gather round. <laughs> I, like, I like also King's birthday. There's a game on the twilight. I love King's having birthday. Doing... I like yeah, that you got it right. Yeah, there is a yeah. Melbourne, isn't it? No, Essendon Carlton. Is the traditional? Nah. Yeah. Uh, hello. Oh no, sorry. No, no Anzac Day is Richmond and Melbourne. Melbourne. He's no, right. Hello. He's correct. King's birthday is Eve. Yeah. Oh, Eve. Yeah. Eve. Uh, you didn't say Eve. You said I didn't put the word Eve in. Oh, okay. That. 
You knew what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, I did. Anyway. I didn't. Oh, Frio Adelaide. Do you want me to go first? Oh, you, you can go. go. You can go. Yeah. Well, you know how I feel about Adelaide. So I think the travel to up to per, up across to Perth, Perth. would be too difficult for them. I think Fremantle's playing good footy. Let's so be you're honest. on a three and zero Fremantle. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. feel like vomiting right well, now. Well, Frio's playing good footy. They're back at home. They've got three good forwards that are scoring goals. They've got a good ruckman and they've got a plethora of injuries. They have I got. can't see Adelaide going over and beating them. I can, actually. Yeah, I can. Really? Yeah, they, this wow. is desperate. This is panic stations. This is yeah, David Cameron. But, I'm you know, the, the, okay, the, the but bubble. if they don't win... Oh, if they don't win, the season's over. Again. Yeah, Another but team I haven't picked to make the it. Bubble's so gonna so the bubble's going to burst for Fremantle. At point. home. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. I was I was a bit disappointed with Fremantle. Okay, Not disappointed, but like... I put it to both of you. Yeah. Freo's midfield versus Adelaide's midfield. You know what made me sick? That overrated... Five, seriously. Yeah. Kicking goals from 50 like he did 10 years ago, running yeah. around, playing against 14-year-olds. Give me a spell, mate. <laughs> Under Give me age. a spell. <laughs> so, so okay. Adelaide. No, no, what I'm trying to say is Adelaide won't let him do that. And one, and two, Adelaide can- Who's going to him? Adelaide can match it. Oh, uh, I don't reckon anyone will go. I don't think it will be toe-to-toe with like Keys and those guys. Yeah, Keys. Keys will-, will... So Adelaide's defence, is it going to be okay to hold up against Tracy yeah, and yeah, Amos? Yeah, and... no problem. No problem. Yeah. Well, North's defence. And Tabana? North, who? Tabana. No, nah, he's done. He's no Adelaide's issue. defence is no. Yeah, I well, know. Great. Yeah. I would agree. But North isn't either, Adelaide's and they Hill. struggled with North's defence. So. Right. Okay, Fremantle, Adelaide, Adelaide. Yes. Yep. Saturday, Marvel Stadium, 420, Essendon, St Kilda. Oh, I'm torn. <laughs> it's like two, <laughs> two sons favorite. playing <laughs> You're against off each You're other. Off I'm torn. These are my two babies. Well, it's, the fact that Peter Rock got four weeks and King, King got one week – both tall forwards are out. It's going to be interesting. They got they got a massive injury and unavailability list this week, Essendon. Have it's they? Huge. Who's out? Well, who's can out? I read it out? Oh, is it wrong? Can I? Is it wrong? Because it it, 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 it's probably on. updated. Well, it, it could be um, last week's. Yeah, last nah, week. This is updated. So Baldwin, Guelphie, Hunter, Kelly's having a test. McGrath's having a test. What, maths test or English? Parrish, I hope he passes. Parrish, Reed, Ridley. Setterfield, Shield, Wanganeen, Peter Wright. It's a long list. But are these all Redmond, out? There are two tests and the rest are out. Redmond comes okay. back from suspension. Great in. Parrish, though, yeah. still reckon won't play. Right. Okay. Didn't get more infos. Yeah, a day old. <laughs> a day old. But the <laughs> thing is, it's not your info. It's stupid AFL's website. Well, we can only go by the that. Thing is, the thing is, is, is King a big loss to them or is he to St Kilda? Is right yeah, that's what we're going to find out. Yeah, that's right. We're going to find that out. I think yeah. uh, I think King's a bigger loss. Yeah, personally. I agree with him. Yeah, probably they lose a little bit of well, they, structure. Well, memory, yeah. memory is good enough to keep Yeah, but that from. structure, the way they, they need structure up, they them. need yeah, both. But yeah, but there'll be 16 blokes back. You know what that's going to do? Frustrate the shit out of Essendon. It will, but both teams are massive downhill skis on that ground. Massive. Yeah. So we're going to see a shootout. Yeah, oh, I think so. No, 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 no. No? Yeah, I think so. No, 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 no. Well, because of Ross Lyon. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Essendon's going to try and St. Killer's going to go, you ain't having that. Perhaps. Perhaps. When's, when's this game? Saturday 4.20. 420. Don't you listen to the intro of the games? No. Nah. Okay. Not, not with Essendon saying kill the games. Well, my my final take on that, I think Essendon wins. I think Essendon too. Go Bombers. Oh, yeah. you're on the bank. Oh, I have to yeah. split one of them. I, I can't say a draw. Can okay. I say a draw? Oh, I think it's But nah, when, you, when you're okay. saying Essendon, what margin are you thinking? No, I don't know. I think Essendon one, back at one Marvel. One to 100. It could be a belting. No, nah, it, it won't be a belting. Okay. Then they don't belt. Don't anyone. forget, St Kilda belted this in a practice match a month ago. Three, three to four well, goals. In that case, three, no, no, three to four goals. Nothing. It'll be arms length all day. I think arms length. Okay. Yeah, just like Essendon's mids, and I think they can still score. I mean, they kicked fourteen seventeen last week, and yeah, yeah, but St Kilda's yeah. back. Redmond line. returns, and and King goes, so that yeah. shores up their defence. That's true. But St Kilda's other on the other end, St Kilda's back line will frustrate the Essendon forwards. It be, will, and not just that, because I'll throw others back it as will. well. And if they're talking well, about playing we'll Dan Butler, then they go on speed because they're going to have Higgins and Butler, St Kilda, in that forward half. Mm. Do you reckon Arthur will play? <laughs> <laughs> Move on. Moving on. Saturday, 7.30, Adelaide Oval, Port Adelaide versus Melbourne. Great game. That's a ripper. Yeah. So, is it my turn? I haven't had a turn yet. No, yeah. oh, has he? Well, I've been you had Carlton, didn't oh, no, I had, no, I, no, I, no, he took it off me. Oh, well, off you go. I don't even know what to say about this game. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready. He's ready well, to do you go. Need a rest? No, no. Battle of the midfields. Fair to Oliver, say. Oliver Petrarca, Butters, yep, Rosie. Fair to say. Ripping. That wins a game, I reckon. I reckon it's going to be a great game. I don't fully trust Port Adelaide, and Melbourne, we thought they were all 
they were going to go yeah. there. Nah, they're not, mate. They actually look Yeah, they, they look all right. You know, having said that, May and Lever out. Ooh. Are they definitely out? Well, I'm May's, not, May's out. I'm not making the call. No, they're, May's they're out, said, unless they've created artificial ribs, he's out. Yeah, May, he's out. This Lever, touch and go. Touch and go. Touch and go. But, but, but even May, just that one out, it's a big out for Melbourne. Massive. Particularly with Charlie Dixon, Dixon, yeah, Dixon. and um, my mate. Tom uh, Tom Marshall. Tom Marshall. Tom, Todd Marshall. Tom Marshall. Who's Tom, Tom Marshall? What about Malcolm? Malcolm Marshall. Malcolm Marshall. <laughs> yeah, he's half his height. Do we anyway. have any more Marshalls? It's a very, not a very You can holler for a Marshall. You can holler for a Marshall. I, well, I knew that was coming. Jesus. <laughs> mm. any, anyway. more, any more Marshalls? Oh, you can get him at uh, uh, Olymp- uh, Athletics. You can get Marshalls at Olymp- Athletics and Fun Runs and Marathons. You get them all. Uh, Vito, what do you think? I actually think Melbourne will win. Even though uh, you're right with the plays that are out, but I think the midfield's too tough, Port. Port are good, like Rosie but it's fantastic, but they're more silky clean. Outside. Where Oliver, you know what I think, but he's just tough. And Petrarca's a bull. No, nah, I think, and gone, he'll go all right. I think they win Melbourne. Yeah. Know? Just. So I'll say two goals. I'll look at the form. Port Adelaide, does, they, neither side has form because Port beat West Coast and they yeah, battled through the Richmond game. And Melbourne beat the Dogs and I feel as though the Dogs just turn up when it suits them, yeah. like Gold Coast in Ballarat. Yeah. So it was too tough for them in the first round, and then they beat Hawthorne. So there's no form, um, but I'm still going – I'm picking Mel. Last year this was the same game I wasn't sure. You're on the fence. I'll tell you usually. why I'm picking Melbourne, because in more in our review of the year of teams, our know, episode, I said Porter good downhill skis against teams around them and below them, and they have it their way, running off half back, yeah. and really mm. chops in. This is not one of those sides. They haven't been able to beat these sides. They couldn't beat any of these sides last year. I don't know what's changed for them. No, nothing. Port. No, I don't think anything's changed from what I've watched. So I'm picking Melbourne by 10 points? That's what I said, yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm picking Port by three goals. Okay. Must be an outside game then. It has to be an outside game. If it's an inside game, then Melbourne win, it, yeah, win yeah, comfortably. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So you're, you're thinking that Adelaide gets them on the outside. They get yeah. them on the outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. If yeah. they don't, Melbourne wins, you're right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sunday, Marvel Stadium, 1 p.m. And another game where the Dogs get a nice, easy run in. They play the oh, Eagles. Oh, my Lord. They're playing the Eagles. Let's just move on. Uh, H- having said that, Bontepelli's just... good chance of being out. I heard yes. This morning. Yes, I did hear you know that. No, that is. Ha- rest. Yeah, I know. Have a of rest, Marcus. <laughs> Have a of rest, course. Marcus. What? You can't smoke on television anymore. Oh, all right. You fair know, enough. it's banned, right? Yeah. No, he's vaping. Yeah, that's vaping. <laughs> you can't that's do that vaping. soon anyway either. Um, well, you might as well take cocaine because everyone else in the uh, AFL right. takes it. And it's, right. and it's okay to take. You'll just be that's a late withdrawal with a hamstring. Correct. 100%. How bad is that, though? Oh, it's horrendous. And to hear club doctors coming out and saying, you know, mm. if they're positive, we are their late withdrawals. If that's the case, then you've got to go back on all the late withdrawals in yeah, the last look, three yeah. years and have a look. But guess Long's what? Long's in trouble then. Mate. Yeah, oh, yeah. Of late withdrawals. Yeah. Got, they had two more on Friday but, night. But, yeah, I know. But guess what? It's very important that we take away whistling from the boundary, from the benches, remember? Com- yeah. That, that's an compared important to? issue. No, compared to this drug use Norton. thing policy. Yeah, well, anyway. Anyway, this why, game why doesn't you re- exist. You'd that, there, is a sub- yeah, there is a subject in that, like to talk about. Yeah, you know, 100%. Yeah. You, you'd rest Bonten Pally. wouldn't even think twice about yeah, it. rest Marcus, no problem. I'm just telling you he's out. Yeah, five Not everyone out. gets easy runs, but playing Gold Coast in Ballarat. Do you remember last year that? And beat? then playing the Eagles. Yeah. yeah, they did. Put him out of the final. They did, they did, they did. For Sunday, 4 p.m. MCG, Richmond versus Sydney. Great game. Your boys. Four and zip. Yeah, great game and four and zip. I agree. Yeah, it, it can still be a great game. Yeah, but they'll, they'll have a go. Yeah, but you're not surely thinking they're a chance. I said they'll have a go. Yeah, but do you think they're a chance? Oh, slight, but no. Yeah, they they're losing win. too many soldiers. Yeah, I know. That's, oh, that's another one. This well, well, not just that. And... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, fair point. But even then, Sydney's just clean. Oh, they're they're yeah. they're in fine. Touch. Are they? Are they probably the most informed team? Yeah, but absolutely. I reckon they're in more form than GWS. Oh, touch and go. What? Because well, you can't count last this week. This is the GWS, exciting right? thing. I had a look at the fixture, and I won't say each game. But Sydney and GWS playing round eight. And they could well and truly be both seven and zip. That's incredible. Oh, so it'll be a sellout of 23,000 at Giant Stadium. <laughs> at Giant uh, NG Stadium. <laughs> NG yeah. Stadium, that's um, it. So it's funny. Richmond, will, they're good to watch this year. But yeah. they won't win, win many games. I agree. Like, okay. You they're know like, what I mean? They'll be like us. Uh, a, um, a, a friend of mine that um, 
I bounce a lot of things off Spit during the week. Yep. yep. And we always talk footy, and his brain's better than mine. And he, I said, oh, Richmond had a go. And his response was, ah, but it's Richmond. Who cares? And the, th- the reason being is, where are they, Richmond? They're just in a no man's land. They're just oh, in a... Yeah, but they're not pushing for the A. No, no, no. no, no. Oh, Stick in the wing. Game. They are, it's a way... It's, what yeah, they, I know, but remember, a, they've won three flags yeah, in like six say, years. That that's right. They're on the fuss. end of their dynasty. Yeah, 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 so who cares? That was Richmond fo- competitive? If that was our footy club, you'd be like, oh, well, we're going to be crap for two years. Oh, well. That's mm. right. And that's where Richmond's at with yeah, people Yeah, of the course moment. they are. Yeah, yeah oh. I agree. But they're still good to watch. Easter Monday, MCG 320, Hawthorne versus Geelong. This is traditional. Knock yourself out, Hawthorne Geelong. It, it is. It is. <sighs> Dangerfield out. Yeah, I did hear that this morning. <laughs> uh, 350, Tom Hawkins, great effort. Yeah. What, for the what start. a career. What a career, well, mate. His game last week was as good as he was when he was 20. Oh, I got more respect from him now because early on I think it was just okay. Well, what was play. his nickname that you called him? <laughs> he can't even remember. Oh, no, I can't Tom say. Tom Hawkins? Yeah. <laughs> you can't say that anymore. <laughs> but it was, it was a group nickname. Now oh, it's published. <laughs> Yeah, but they don't publish players' weights anymore, so oh, we yeah, won't know. That. So he can't, can't, can't say it anymore. Talk about weight. Oh, you can't even say it. He's a big bloke. He's lost all definition, but he's playing super footy. But he plays so smart. He, he, he knows yeah, his limits. Is, he right. knows his he limits. Plays his strengths. Of course. That's exactly right. And that's a smart footy. He could play the 40, honestly. He could. He could, he, he could play the 40. He could play 400 games, I reckon. Yeah. What's only two more can years, he beat, really? Can he beat the record? No. Five, no I don't think he can get that far. five years, mate. 4.27. Yeah, I don't. No chance. You'd I have think to play, he can just get to 400. You'd have to play four years it. and not get injured. It's 427. Isn't it 434? 437, I thought it was. No, it's 427, is it? I thought it was 434. I thought it was, let us know in the comments, because I reckon it was 430 something. If it's not, nah, 427. We've got to check that. Brent Harvey, let us know how many games you played. <laughs> 434, I think you're right. Give I think, him a call. Yeah, I'll give him a call um, after the show. Geelong just win this because they're better. Because Hawthorne, yeah, yeah. what they showed last yeah, well, week, Hawthorne. Having said that, Sam Mitchell acknowledged that they went to, like, uh, they wanted to control the ball. So they had, like, 100 marks, right? And he said, we went way over. So he's going to adjust that, try and run Geelong because they're a bit older. Hang on. I didn't say they'll win. Okay. But I think they'll give them a bit of a run for a little bit of a time. But they just haven't got the scoring capacity, even though I like their forward line. But I think Geelong. Not enough good players. Five goals last week. Yeah, not enough good players. They're not going to kick more than seven against Geelong's defense. Seven. Nah, for me. Tom Stewart. You talk about Tom Hawkins, the best one of the best forwards going around. Tom Stewart will go down as one of the greatest and half backs. Mm. They'll win by eight goals plus for me. Okay. So you'll watch the stall gift instead. Yeah. <laughs> That's on tomorrow. Tom Johnson. Who's the favourite? Tom Johnson. Tom Johnson. Tom the Johnson. Favorite? What about Ben Johnson? <laughs> no, he's not. No, in. He's not in. <laughs> That's his brother, Tom Johnson. Oh dear. Um, before we close, I just want to say one thing about the umpiring. Now, the field umpires, and you guys don't even know what I'm going to say. No, I've got no idea. We always bang on about the field umpires and their decision making. And, I said um, in day one. Yeah, year. and it's all about interpretation, isn't it? And they make 50, 60, whatever decisions a game. Mm-hmm. And um, I know what you're going to say now. So what's the goal umpire's excuse and the boundary umpire's yeah. excuse? They have one job to do. Mm. I Talking to the wrong Because post, those mate. out of bounds, the Kyle Langford and the Higgins one was horrendous. Mm. You horrendous. have one job, field umpire. Totally agree. You have one job. Goal umpires are the same. How many more reviews are we going to see per quarter with an umpire not confident enough to make mm. the call? Yeah, that's ridiculous. We get six a quarter. It's driving me insane. The goal umpires are the worst. The ball's gone through. Like, I'm watching it. That's a goal. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Oh, no. I just want to check. What? It's gone in by that much. That's right. Make the call. Make it. Have some balls. That's right. You know, but, in the 70s and 80s and 90s, that's mate? That's right. They, I know there wasn't this technology. That's right. But they had the balls, mate. Yep, I'm confident with that. But at the same time, they supposedly check every goal. Supposedly. So if it's touched or whatever, no, roll right? it. By, by the time you... Just roll it. You've got 30 seconds to make a decision. Surely they can... So Yeah, that's true. Also, and, uh, I'm yeah. going to say one more thing about the umpires. I've got one more thing too. Okay, you say yours because I'll there's end with a cracker. There's this thing in society. It's really, really good. Society? Yeah, in the, it's a, there's a watch you can wear. And they can tell you how many steps. Is that an apple one? Yeah, it could be an apple one. Mm. And you can set it and go, I'm going to walk 700 metres that way. And uh, I'm going to walk 700 metres back home and I'm going to walk 1.4 kilometres. Yeah. And the watch will Pretty do accurate. it for and they'll be able to, That's spot on. And they'll be able to see how, how far a 50 is. So is there any reason why an umpire can't wear a device of some sort, blow the whistle, that's 50, hit that. Okay, yep, that's and 50. just 
Mark it out. That way, we don't have to talk about Steel Sidebottom's 65-metre penalty. Yeah, correct. Or Charlie Curnow in the second round against Richmond yep. where it was yep, yep. 85. Yep. And 50s, it were 35. Mm. That's right. That's true. Just no, you, you're your right. your device. It's a great invention. Get, you, get, it's a, get onto it, AFL. Yeah, it's 2024. It's only, it's only been That's around right. for 20 years. Uh, it's your only, one? My one? AFL. Stop bouncing the f- ball. There you have it. <laughs> anyway, so how many to like we lose three seconds? There was a game that we we're watching. Yep. I can't remember what game it was. Someone kicked it half a second after the siren, right? Kicked the goal. I can't remember yeah, what game. The goal. But there was at least two or three bounces that quarter. Three uh, seconds, three seconds. Nine seconds. Nine seconds. Twelve seconds, whatever yep. it is. Cut. What can't they see the AFL? What? Why is it so hard? Just throw it up, mate. Just throw, throw it up. up. There were umpire the Richmond Port game. There were some umpires that were choosing to throw up during the course of the day. There you go. Because they were obviously whatever reason getting tired or wanted to make sure there was a quick clearance. They were choosing, as we say, gitter. I agree. Before I say where they have it, before I say that, Good Friday. It's going to be fun. North and Carlton. Oh, we'll be all be, over each other. It's going to be good. Yeah, you just say that. Say that again. <laughs> We'll be all over each other. Who says that again? Say it again. Say it again. Da- Say it Luke again. Darcy. Say that again. Don't even go there, go. Well, there you have it. Our preview of round three in the books. Let us know in the comments who you think wins, and we'll see you on the next one.